Fela Anikula Pokuti, whose real name is Olufela Olushegun Oludotun Ransom Kuti, was born in Abiokuta, north of Lagos, on the 15th of October 1938. He was a Nigerian multi instrumentalist, a musician, a composer, pioneer of the Afrobeat music genre, and a human rights activist. Fela was born into a religious and political family. His father was a pastor and a talented pianist. His mother was active in the anti-colonial, anti-military, Nigerian home rule movement. At an early age, Fela experienced politics and music in a unified combination. He attended the Abiokuta Grammar School in Abiokuta and was later sent to London in 1958 by his parents to study medicine. Instead, he chose to register at Trinity College School of Music. Fela started his first band, Kula Lubitos, in 1961 and quickly became a fixture on the London club scene. He returned to Nigeria in 1963. In 1969, Fela brought Kula Lubitos to Los Angeles to tour and record. Upon returning to Nigeria, Fela founded a communal compound come recording studio and rehearsal space. He called it the Kalakuta Republic and the nightclub The Shrine. Following his 1969 tour of the United States, where he was influenced by the politics of Malcolm X, the Black Panthers, and other militants, Fela's music became increasingly politicized. He exhorted social change in such songs as Zombie, or like he called it, Zombie, Monkey Banana, Beasts of No Nation, and Upside Down. In 1977, Fela was attacked in his Kalakuta Republic by Nigerian soldiers for writing political lyrics, after which he briefly lived in exile in Ghana, returning to Nigeria in 1978. In 1978, Fela married 27 women, many of whom were his dancers, composers and singers, to mark the anniversary of the attack on the Kalakuta Republic. In 1979, Fela formed a political party, the Movement of the People, and ran unsuccessfully for the presidency of Nigeria. Five years later, he was jailed for 20 months on charges of currency smuggling. With help from Amnesty International, he was freed in 1985. Fela in his lifetime was arrested 200 times and endured numerous beatings, but continued to write political lyrics, producing up to 50 albums before he died. He died on the 2nd of August 1997 at the age of 58 in Lagos, Nigeria. Fela Anikula Kwokuti is the king of Afrobeat, whose legacy lives on in the lives of his biological and musical children. <laughs>